and welcome to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. I'm Daisy Savage and I'm here today with Matt Ricardo. How are you today? I'm all right, thank you, Daisy. Good. And how's your show going so far? It's going very well. Um, yeah, it's my uh, fourth fringe on the trot and yep. I think it's my best one ever. Certainly oh. the best show and I'm having the most fun. Okay, so how has your show changed over the four years? Um, it's got more tricks in it, essentially. The first, this is my third one-man show. The yeah. first two were kind of half juggling routines and half uh, stand-up. This one is wall-to-wall -wall juggling routines, it's all tricks. Okay. So um, yeah, it's the most um, skilled, the most <laughs> demanding and, and the most dangerous as well. Oh, it's dangerous? It's very dangerous. Which bits are dangerous? Um, I, there's two, two sections that are quite, uh, I think the word is stupid. Um, I juggle three 15 pound bowling balls and I catch one on the back of my neck. Wow. Uh, that's already killed one performer. Um, and then I juggle three uh, cordless electric carving knives. Wow. Um, jammed in the on position, obviously. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so far I've still got all ten fingers. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> and how do you learn your tricks? Would you call them tricks? Yeah, tricks, yeah. yeah. Um, well, it's weird. I kind of specialise in doing feats of dexterity and manipulation with, with household objects. I don't use many traditional sort of jugglers' props like balls yeah. and clubs and stuff. So. So I basically spend a lot of my time walking around um, department stores and pound shops and picking up things and going, whoa, whoa, well that's something. <laughs> can I throw this? Yeah, yeah, totally, just finding an object that will do something interesting and what, yeah. I, what I can make out of it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And so you started um, as a street performer mm -hmm. uh, at Camden. Um, not in Camden. Not in Camden. In, in Covent Garden. Covent yeah. Garden, sorry. Yeah, wrong way around. <laughs> wrong one. Um, so how has that influenced how you perform? Has that helped you with kind of crowd responses and things? Yeah, very much so. Uh, it, it's, I mean, I, I was a, a full-time street performer for about 15 years. Um, and I always say it's, it's the best training you can have. You know, if you can go out onto a street where people are not planning to see a show, yeah. um, and you can, especially in this country, um, <laughs> and you can convince them just to sort of take 20 minutes out of their day and watch you and have some fun just yeah. for the sake of fun, you know. Yeah. And then if you can make them voluntarily give you money for that, mm -hmm. enough that you can pay the rent, if you can get it to that level, then when you go indoors, it, it's a lot easier. You know, you've had the worst. Of, you know, and there's the good example is there's no heckle in a club that can touch me because I've had the most crazy things happen to me on the street. You know, all the sort of stuff that happens on any street corner has happened to me during the show. So once you've been faced with that, everything else is easy. You know. And what is the craziest thing that's happened? Oh boy, um, I've. During a street show, I've been attacked by, an act, um, by a knife building maniac. Um, I've had uh, a uh, somewhere between four and six thousand people in a riot come through my show. Um, my favourite would be when a woman just calmly, a woman just walked into my show in front of 300 people, dropped her knickers, took a dump on my floor, oh my right in the of my show, and then just walked away again. How do you deal with that? There's nothing you can do. <laughs> There's no, there's no, that's there's the no end. Line. Yeah, that's the end. There's no <laughs> line you can use. You know, if it's a heckle, you can ha ha. You know, <laughs> yeah. but no, there's nothing you can do. That's game yeah. over. <laughs> yeah. And so, do you always uh, enjoy performing aside from that kind of thing that happens? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is a, this is a sort of job where if you didn't enjoy it, there's no point in doing it. And yeah. you don't ever have days where you're just like, because the fringe is very long. It is. You have days where you're very tired and you have to kind of get into that mood yeah, of. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm 44. I'm tired all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <clears throat> um, yeah, it gets tired and, and occasionally it can it can break your heart and you know your feet ache and your back hurts and all that stuff because you're doing the same thing and, and working really hard every day for a month. But I, I kind of get annoyed when you get performers who say, "Oh, it's so hard, it's so awful." Oh God, the fringe. It's like it's it's, it's meant to be fun. Yeah. You know, I, I know it's this big, massive, high stakes industry thing, but at its heart, mm. it's just someone doing something stupid on stage it's just yeah. fun yeah. and and you've got the chance to see all these amazing shows to hang out with all my you know, all my friends are here I, I really love it I really have a good time and do you think that anyone can learn to do what you do or do you think you have to have talent no I think it's it, it, yeah it's all learned I, I, I'm, I didn't come out the womb with any particular <laughs> skills <laughs> um, yeah no <laughs> there's an image <laughs> um, um, no, anyone can learn it. I mean, it, it just takes commitment and time. You know, I've been doing yeah. it for nearly 30 years. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, well, thanks very much for talking to us. When and where is your show? My show is called Showman. It is at 6.50 p.m. at the uh, Pleasance Jack Dome every night. Okay, thanks very much. You're watching Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer.